Chase Claypool at the second round. Do we need receiver? Especially because we took uh, Diggs. You know what I'm saying? It's like we took Diggs in the first round. So it's like going two receivers in the first two rounds. Bang, bang, back to back. Who the hell do we think we are, man? The freaking Dolphins? <laughs> we Like, we, we ain't that team. So Cardero, although Chase Claypool is a good talent, uh, but I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Who we got? Rudy says, Rudy says the same thing, man. He's feeling the same thing. My man Felix De Leon. How do you feel about Carlos Williams, Rico? Oh, Carlos. Carlos is making the rounds right now. Carlos is talking a lot of shit. Uh, so my man Carlos has major beef with my guy, Doug. Dougie Doug. Uh, so my man said, yo, I hope he chokes on a bag of dicks. I think that's what he said. Don't quote me. Uh, and I, I heard him say I want him to drink bleach. Drown on that. Yo, there was some very hateful things Carlos Williams was saying. So I need to go, uh, A, go check out the interview myself, or B, get this man on the show myself. That's the way we should do. Carlos, we've we'll been showing you love. Come on the show. Talk to us. Let us know how you really feel. I'm just saying, man. I'm just putting it out there. So Carlos Williams, what do I think about him? I know what I do know is he's trying to get back into the league. So he signed with the uh, the Argonauts right now. Uh, in CFL, I think it's the Argonauts or it's the Alouettes. No, I think it's the Argonauts. He's signed with Toronto. Uh, he's going to do his thing out there. And if he does well, maybe he can get his way back into the league. I know that's the route that James uh, Wilder tried to take, uh, but they held him on a year too long. And I think he missed his opportunity to get back in the league, but you never know these days. Uh, so um, I see I see you, though. I see you. Curtis Weaver is one of the picks that uh, some people think that we should go with. Uh, Bill is A.J. Dillon. Anthony Rufus says A.J. Dillon. D. LaPure, uh, who is D. Marcus? Come on, Marcus. Marcus Watkins saying play Chase Claypool in the second. I don't know about that, bro. I'm not sure, but a lot of people like that. Charity says, uh, okay, Charity's back to that, that running back. The ref running back in the second round. Claypool, Jay Taylor. So you guys are definitely wanting to go offense. I'm looking for someone that's giving me something different. William Reddick. He says Jonathan Taylor is the pick. Jonathan Taylor, huh? What's that? Mad Cookie HD. What did Mad Cookie HD say? Nothing like turning on Buffalo Fanatics live to do to do while I'm doing some online homework. Hey, that's my guy, Mac. Mad Cookie HD. Yo, do you actually cook you? You actually bake cookies? If you do, man, send it my way. I'm looking for some cookies. I like my cookies. I like my cookies. Um, oh, somebody said Denzel Mims. Nah, bro. You're not taking Denzel Mims in a second. Steven. Come on, Steven. You tripping. You tripping, Steven. You can't take those two guys. That's too high, fellas. That's too high. These guys are going to be available. Don't forget how deep this receiver pool is. By the way, I need you guys to check out this guy, Isaiah Wright. Check out this receiver by the name of Isaiah Wright. Uh, I forgot what school. It's a smaller school, but this boy is an athlete, and he may go undrafted. He may, or it's a late draft pick, but that boy can play. Yo, go check that boy out. Go check him out. Uh, let me see what we got. I got Jonathan Ta Jonathan Tyler says I'm a Bills super fan in Birmingham, Alabama. Oh, you a Bama man? My sister's out in Alabama, so yeah, man. Shout out to you guys in Alabama, man. Who do we got? Bills should get. Oh, I see a different one. Anthony Rufus says Bills should get receiver Tyler Johnson out of Minnesota. Minnesota is filled with a lot of talent on that team, man. You got that that safety uh, in Winfield. Um, they got a good running back over there. Um, they got some talent, man. So Tyler Johnson definitely is a name. I don't know if I go second round with him, but he may not last a third. Because to me, I think receiver is – I'm a little conflicted still at this point, but we'll see. It all depends on how this thing plays out, man. But I see a lot of Claypool, a lot of Claypool. By the way, we got a new member. We got to speak on Elvis Sypek. Elvis Sypek, welcome to the big squad, baby. Let's go. Let's go, man. Um, Elvis, since you're here. Who do we draft with the 54th pick? Who do we draft with the 54th pick, Elvis? Talk to me. Let me see what we got. Shit, man, they get Taylor. It's a wrap. Yo, it, I'm, let me say something. I'm not hating on Taylor. I think Taylor is a fucking talent. I think he is probably the best running back in, the, in this draft. I like AJ Dillon a lot, but I think Taylor is the best running back in this draft. He reminds me a lot of, uh, of Saquon. Saquon Barkley, like take it to the house type of back, like do it, do it all type of back. So uh, I mess with that. Um, AJ Espanonza, 
I think AJ Espinosa would be a good pick, but I think he's going to be gone by by the time that we pick at 54. Um, EJ Mexico, EJE, New Mexico. Rico, you need a manscaped mustache, man. Best running back available. <laughs> uh, no, nah, man, I'm not manscaping, bro. That's the way it is, man. We keeping this bitch. We keeping this bitch. It's going. We're going we gonna to curl. We're going to let that shit go. We're going we gonna to let that shit go, man. We growing the curls for the girls, baby. <laughs> um, fa- <laughs> Y'all got me tripping tonight, boy. Oliver is a true future. Agreed. Best Bills podcast. Oh, man. Y'all, y'all are for real the dopest, man. Joshua Thornton. You know I appreciate the love, baby. I appreciate the love, man. It's, it's, it takes uh, it takes some... Uh, some uh i guess some some abilities to be able to speak uh for hours on end and and just keep going right but the content comes from you guys man you guys ask really fantastic questions you guys give me good perspective on it and then i kind of chime in and give my opinion on it so that's love man that is love man uh what do we got buff barrier what's my man buff barrier saying say do you think that mckenzie and duke williams will have a battle for the starting job if so who would win it do you think McKenzie and Duke will win? They ain't battling for no starting job. That's number one. Uh, for a roster spot, yes. The fact here's the thing. This is this is the puzzling thing too. I don't want to say it's puzzling, but the fact that they brought back, um, they brought back Isaiah McKenzie, is is interesting. Now I know that we need to fill the roster to get to ninety for us to have a, an appropriate camp, but. He's been on the team for a year and a half now, right? He came on the end last year and then made himself a nice little role this year. So the fact that we brought him back makes me wonder where we're going to pick a receiver. And I think that tells me that we're going to pick a receiver late in the draft. <laughs>